Hello, I am Karen Chosik and currently the director of Saturday Mornings with Poetry at the Public Library. With me today is Al Mueller, and he is actually the founder of our poetry group. So, Al, would you like to just talk about how the poetry group got started? Well, uh, our very first meeting was in the boardroom at the library. There were three of us, um, and I'm the only one left. Uh, but since then, uh, the group has grown to its present uh, about 20 members who uh, meet uh, every two weeks. Average attendance probably around 16. Around 14, 16 every time we meet. Yeah. And uh, I'm called the founder, however, uh, uh, many people have come along to uh, help create uh, the format uh, uh, for uh, each of our meetings. Uh, we begin with uh, an opening poem uh, that's selected by one of the members of the group. Um, and then we move into um, sharing of poems that uh, members have read or poems that uh, are favorites of theirs that they haven't uh, uh, written. Uh, at the end, we have a closing uh, poem. And that format has been in place. I want to say for five for, years, five uh, years now. Roughly about five years, yes. And uh, Karen took over uh, as director of the group in uh, December of uh, 2013. And uh, I am so pleased that she's done that because she's done a marvelous job of continuing uh, to uh, build uh, the program. And uh, uh, I'm very fortunate in uh, still uh, being part of the group, uh, but in, in a much reduced uh, uh, role. April is National Poetry Month. And on April 17th, we are presenting our third celebration of poetry called The World of Poetry. The readings represent primarily the original work of many of our members. It's a free community event and it takes place at the Wallingford Public Library on Friday, April 17th from 6 to 8 in the community room. It's a cafe-like setting, very relaxed, and refreshments will be served. Our last two events were well received and uh, we are hoping you plan to attend. Um, Al, would you like to just talk about some of the poetry contests that our members have uh, tried out for? Oh, sure. Um, for the past uh, five or six years, we've, uh, several of us have uh, been uh, participated in uh, poetry contests uh, sponsored by Altrusa of Connecticut, which is uh, a community uh, organization. They encourage uh, educational activities. And some of the members have um, actually won uh, awards. Um, Karen uh, has won a couple of awards. I myself have won honorable mention. In April, uh, after the program that uh, Karen just uh, mentioned, uh, we'll be going to uh, Cromwell to uh, find out if we, uh, any of us, uh, uh, won um, any more uh, any more awards? The first prize, second prize, and then there's honorable mention. Actually, uh, one out of 40 poems. Uh, that's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good. Uh, I would say uh, 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 award. Um, the other thing I also want to mention that our poetry group does do is put together a compilation of our poems twice a year, and it is put in a booklet that our library does have available to the public. And uh, that publication is called Perennial Awakenings, which Al actually originated. So we are a pretty active group. Um, some of us are even uh, members of the Connecticut Poetry Society. Please keep in mind that April 17th in the eve from 6 to 8, our poetry presentation will take place, and I hope to see you there.